टूडे डिसकस ऑन चैप्टर थ्री डिसन कंट्रोल इन्स्ट्रक्शन एंड डिसकस दिस चैप्टर ऑन एक्सरसाइज एट मेनली एंड व्हाट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोग्राम्स हैज इंक्लूड एस टी डी आईओ डॉट एच इन मेन इंटीजर ए इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड बी इक्वल टू सी इफ ए ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड b equal to 300 semicolon c is equal to 200 semicolon print f percentage d percentage d uh, black slash n b c return 0 can you say what is the output of this uh, program anyone b to 0 dekha be shita 200 dekha be ओके, ओके, सो, स्टार्ट, दिस प्रोग्राम, हैज इंक्लूड स्टूडियो एडवर्टेज इंटीजर मेन इंटीजर ए इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड बी बी सी ए ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड बी इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड सी इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड सिंस हियर बी इक्व ए इफ ए Uh, no 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 uh, here here we not use here uh, second braces so uh, after if after if this uh, condition is true then only the next line execute be executed so uh, if you uh, use here the second uh, second uh, second bracket that is braces then uh, uh, b equal to 300 and c equal to 200 but here We not use here the braces. So here, uh, after uh, execution of the condition, uh, if it is true, then only b is equal to three hundred. B is equal to three hundred. But here, uh, input value, uh, initial value of a is three hundred. So, so when the condition is checked, a equal to four hundred, it is false because a is equal to three hundred is given. So, so this b equal to three hundred uh, is skipped. And output is c equal to two hundred only, and and b gets any garbage value. So we run this program, no error, and this return. Uh, notice that here is zero two zero zero zero, two hundred. That is two hundred. So uh, the return value b. This is value of b. B is two hundred. Value of value of sorry b value of c value of c equal to two hundred. And B is gets any garbage value. So next program include studio I O dot H int main uh, integer A equal to five hundred B C if A greater than equal to four hundred B equal to three hundred C equal to two hundred. Uh, print F uh, B C return zero. What is the output? Here initial value A equal to five hundred. So check when check if A greater than equal to four hundred. So a initial value a is five hundred. So it is true. So uh, b get the value three hundred, and next c equal to two hundred. So output is three hundred and two hundred. Yes, output is here three uh, hundred and three hundred and two hundred. This is the output. This is the output. Next uh, program uh, include studio dot h integer min integer x equal to ten y equal to twenty if x uh, equal to equal to as equal to equal to sign equal to check it whether x is equal to y uh, this print uh, percentage div x and y and percentage x and y uh, here uh, here 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 x equal to ten y equal to 20 so check it x equals to y x equals to y no here uh, 10 10 not equals to 20 not equals to 20 it is wrong it is wrong it is wrong so uh, so uh, this value uh, is uh, value is wrong so 
no output but not but you uh, get the output you get the output output 10 and 20 can you say why it is but you get this output is this why no if you run this program output is 10 and 20 but 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 this uh, condition is false so uh, this uh, statement is um, is not executed but here here uh, after after if we use here semicolon here use semicolon so for this semicolon for this semicolon so this condition has no effect in this program so automatically compiler takes the uh, print this line uh, a print x and y x 10 and y 20 so due to the presence of this semicolon so compiler takes the value 10 and 20 and compiler executes this line if you omit this semicolon integer a equal to 10 b equal to 20 and if a equal to b b semicolon print print percentage print percentage d a and b a comma b return zero and this is the program and here we use uh, in place of x we here use a integer a b so whether a equals to b check it and semicolon print f percentage d a and b return zero so compile no error no error no error and run this program output is 10 20 and because you you use here uh, some space uh, blank space then to get this some result um, say uh, blank uh, black slash n you get the next output next next line output get the next line so 10 20 so 10 20 so so here uh, so here uh, due to the presence of this semicolon so uh, the compiler uh, does not check this effect of the uh, effect of this execution of this a whether a equals to b has no effect in this line so b so this program run kore ha dekho dekho chalo semicolon ta ami stop kore dilam compiler compile and uh, next uh, you can as usual print a equal to b so here we write a equals to this and b equals to this compile compile and run A equal to b written whether for oh, here a equals to b no it is false so you uh, get no result so you get no result so here because here a is equal to 10 b equal to 20 so it is false a 10 not is equal to 20 so it is false so uh, so uh, you have no result no result no output here next uh, program include a studio io dot h uh, integer main integer x equal to 3 and float y equal to 3.0 if x equals to y print x and y are equal else print x and y are not equal return 0 what is the output y
Hmm. Okay, just just answer is this here. Answer is this. Output is this. X and Y are equal. This is the output. This is the output. X and Y are equal. Okay. Next problem. Include a studio average range. Integer main. Integer X equal to three. Y Z. Y equal to X equal to ten. Z equal to X less than ten. Print x equal to this, y equal to this, z is equal to this, and what is what are the outputs? Initial value x equal to three, and this is the assignment operator. So uh, first assignment x equal to ten, and then assigned y equal to ten. Then y assignment y equal to ten. So uh, x equal to ten. And here, x is less than ten. J is equal to x, and x is less than ten. So, value of j, value of j, is this output is this output is this. X, x here x equal to so x equal to ten, and y equal to also ten, and j is equal to get zero. Here. X equal to ten. First assignment here a y or a first here from this segment x assigned the value x is assigned the value ten and then this value ten y is assigned to x so y gets the value ten so x gets the value ten y gets the value ten so it is okay but x j is equal to x is less than ten j is equal to x so now the value of x is ten. From this line, value of x is ten. So here, z z is equal to assign the value ten. Z assign the value ten. Uh, no, z assign the value zero. Z assign the value zero because uh, line this z um, assign the value zero. Here, x is less than ten. X is less than ten. It is false. It is false. It is false. So false means zero. So z uh, gets the value zero. So, uh, z gets the value zero. It is false because here x is equal to ten, but here ten uh, is less than ten. No, no, it is false. So, gets the value zero. Next, uh, include studio array integer i equal to sixty five, and character variable j is equal to the value a, capital A. If i equals to j, print c is o, else print c is headache. Return zero. Why? So, list of all the ASCII values, uh, values are given in this book, uh, page number uh, six hundred ten. So, you know. Uh, going to the page number six hundred ten. This is the list of ASCII value. This is the value. Uh, this is the value. This is the character. So here, capital A, capital A. Here, capital A, capital A. This is the capital A. This is the capital A. Value of capital A is sixty five. Value of capital A is sixty five. So. Uh, Value of capital A sixty five, but small a is ninety seven. Small a is ninety seven. So this is the small a. So capital A and small a are not same. Not same here. So ASCII value of capital A is sixty five. So here, um, here character J character value is capital A means sixty five. So I equals to J. Yes, it is true. So print C is O. Yes, so output is C is O, C is O. Output is this. Point out the errors, if any, in the following programs. Include S to the order H integer main float um, float a equal to twelve point two five, b equal to twelve point five two. If a equal to b, print a and b are equal, return zero. Why?
yes and double equal to sign put here so uh, a equal to b if a equal to b uh, no error ne no error so return print a and b are equal and just uh, 12.52 would get assigned to here by this this here a is assigned to the value of b so value of b what is the value of b 12.52 so by this a equal to b statement a gets the value b a gets the value b by this assignment operator so a gets the value b means a b value is 12.52 b value is 12.52 so a get the value a get the value 12.52 a get the value 12.52 b get the value 2.52 but uh, for a check a you must have to write this a equals equal sign then you check whether a is equal to b so a get the value uh, 12.52 and condition would be evaluated is true condition is here a get the value to so actually his uh, uh, compiler uh, uh, get this if a 12.52 12.52 if this if here a non zero value some non zero value then this condition is true only if something zero value then condition is false so here if a equal to 12.52 so if 12.52 so it is true so it is true and 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 then execute the this line print a b are equal print b condition would be evaluated is true and print would be executed and 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 you get the result a and b a and b are equal okay check it check it f l o a t f l o f l o a t a t float 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 12.25 12.25 and b equal to 12.52 12.52 if a equal to b a equal to b print a and b equal a and n b r equal r p q a l equal black slash n black slash n and this sorry this will turn zero so this is the uh, program float a equal to 12.25 b equal to 12.52 if a equal to b print this this, this. so uh, compile this program no error no error and run this program so output is a and b are equal output is a and b are equal why why if a equal to b when you write a equal to b then this means this means the variable a is assigned by the value of b what is the value of b 12.52 12.52 so a gets the value 12.52 so so this a gets the value 12.52 so when this a if, if a equal to b that means if 12.52 so if some some non zero quantity some non zero um, uh, number so when uh, the in this uh, this condition is some uh, non zero number so it is true so since it is true so this um, program execute the next line immediate next line print this suppose here uh, put here uh, some a equal to 0 some put here a equal to 0 here uh, b b equal to 12.52 no this is the uh, b equal to say put here 0 0, 0. so a get the value a get the value of b so actually here 
a equal to get the value 0. So, uh, for 0, uh, it is the false. So, this uh, output uh, is not here. A and B are equal. No output. No output. Clear? No output here. Because here, when you write here, uh, a equal to b means a assign the value of b and value of b is 0, 0 0.0. So, a get the value 0 0.0. So, if 0, if 0 means it is false. So, this line is not executed. So, immediate next line is not executed and, and, and this program is uh, stopped. So, this is uh, important problem here start this so output in this program output is a and b are equal a and b are equal this is the output next program include a stereo i order range integer main integer j is equal to 10 k equal to 12 if k greater than equal to j uh, open braces open braces k equal to j j is equal to k Close braces, close braces. So, this is the pair of braces and this is the pair of braces. Return 0. What, what is the output? No output here uh, by this. Uh, for this pair of braces, is no effect have no effect due to the, due to this pair of uh, braces you can use uh, any number of pair of braces say here you can use here uh, here pair of braces here pair of braces so uh, there is no effect uh, for this uh, number of pair of braces here k k gets the value k gets the value of j what is the value of j 10 so k equal to 10 and next line j equal to k means j gets the value of k so j gets the value of k now k is 10 so j get the value of 10 so if you uh, you write in the here uh, print uh, k and j and get the result k is equal to 10 j equal to 10 so uh, here you get no output because uh, we uh, here uh, did, did not give here uh, the print statement so uh, no error no error error 0 next program integer main if x capital x character character less than small small x character print ascii value of x is smaller than that of x print printf ascii value of capital x is smaller than that of small x so uh, what is the output of this mm, no if x x means x and it is true it is true because this when you get you may give this value this x is character capital x is character so value of capital x by the ASCII table, value of capital X, value of capital X is capital X is A B C D E F G H capital X. Capital X is 88. Capital X is 88. And small x is small x is this small x is 120. 120. So capital X is less than small x. Correct value. So, capital X is less than small x, so it is true. Capital X is less than small x, it is true. It is true. It is true. So, uh, so you get the this uh, output is this ASCII values of A, X and capital X uh, is smaller, is smaller than this. So, uh, uh, write the program here. Um, if, if, K 
capital X less than sorry sorry capital X is less than small x small x print print ASCII value this this is S C I I ASCII value values ASCII value ASCII value of X capital X each something 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 and return this here. so compile this program if capital X integer is equal to small x in this warning okay, missing the terminating character missing the terminating character oh you can't know compile this no error no error thank you thank you Brajo. thank you print output ask the value of x is dash dash dot dot so uh, here uh, computer uh, compiler automatically uh, understand this uh, invert single invert comma uh, this capital x is character value and small x is also character value so uh, it is true capital x is less than small x but if you uh, put here greater than sign but capital x is capital x is uh, 98 uh, capital x is 98 and small x is 97 capital x is capital x is uh, 88 capital x 88 a uh, small x is 120 capital x is 88 small x is 120 capital x is capital x is capital x is uh, 88 ASCII value and small x is 120 ASCII value so if you put here um, is greater than sign so it is false so it is false so output no output here no output here and this is the process excite exit exited after atos after status second it is the time time of this uh, execution of this program so no output here because capital x 88 is greater than 120 which false so here so output in this case here it is output is this output is this this is the output ascii value of this it is output it is the output next include st2.h int main and second bracket integer x equal to 10 if x greater than equal to 2 then print f percentage d x return 0 what is the output yes yes no output error so this error because because the presence of then so uh, in uh, then uh, cannot be used in C language cannot be used in C language so it is error next integer x equal to 10 y equal to 15 if x modulo division 2 equal to y modulo division 3 print uh, carpentheus Carpentians, Carpentians. Uh, x equal to this here mm, no 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 x equal percent modulo division 2 x modulo division 2 this 10 modulo division 2 this means this means 0 0 so this is 0 and y means 15 modulo division 3 so remainder is 0 so 0 so 0 equals 0 actually 0 equals 0 means 0 so if this result this 
if something zero so it is false so for false um, so uh, so uh, output uh, it is here it is it is zero equal to zero check it so it is error it is error for comparison we must use equal to sign so we must use here error here output is error 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 because uh, you, you you have to put here zero equal to equal to this this equal to double equal to sign this equal to equal to so you get the error include h and integer x equal to 30 y equal to 40 if x equals to y print x is equal to y else if x greater than y print x is greater than y else if x is less than y print x is less than y return 0 output Yes, it is error. It gives error. Error because else if else if else if uh, is not a keyword. Is not a keyword in C. So you get error because this else if else if else if error. Next, uh, some programming uh, integer output program whether the odd and even integer. This program, any integer is given. Write a program to uh, to find out whether it is an odd number or even number. It is odd number. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, so here uh, uh, we try to write the program. So, describe this program. What int x int x semicolon if mm, in, but 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 you have to uh, scan f this integer yes uh, first to scan f scan f c a n scan f scan f yes minus inverse comma double inverse comma percent d because x is integer value so this comma ampersand ampersand x yes semicolon semicolon so uh, by this line you uh, put the value integer value of x and next next if if x x percent sign percent sign 2 percent equal to equal to 0 yes 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 next next line sorry next line print if x x uh, percentage n is even the number is even n is even x is even hmm? number is even number is even number is even and this for for odd to print for odd else e l s c else enter print tape print a print tape number is odd and number given number is odd 
Lex less n to get the result the next line will run zero. So uh, by this statement x modulo division two equals equals to zero. This means this means the if 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 if, if the if, if number sum is um, eleven suppose x is eleven. So uh, you may write the command line for this use command line command line is this. Mm, remainder after division by two. Remainder uh, for your um, uh, help, in future help. You um, uh, some uh, remark. Give some remark here. Remainder after after division by two. Division by two. Division by two. So uh, for your uh, future help. You get uh, you write some uh, remark, remark um, and lax, uh, slash slash remainder after division by two. So uh, if you get this here, uh, suppose uh, put here eleven. So eleven modulo division two. So remainder is one. Remainder is one. So one equals e equals to zero. No, it is false. So so else else block print the number is odd. Otherwise the number is even. The number is even. So compile first. We compile no error, no error, and it's good. This now uh, put your uh, number integer. Say any number eight. I put here here yeah, eight. Enter, enter. The output is the number is even. Number is even. Next uh, now uh, compile. Say seven seventy five seventy five. The number is odd. So it is very uh, simple problem uh, to uh, execute this if if logic if if else logic if else addition. Next a year important problem. Any year uh, each input. Throw the keyboard. Write a program. Determine whether this year is leap year or not. Is leap year or not? Leap year or not? Write a program. Uh, whether uh, it is a leap year or not? So this is your home task. Write this. Mm. This is the program uh, to find leap year. If leap year. Uh, but leap year. What is the leap year? First, first uh, some year, some year, uh, check some year, mm, check some year, your year, put some year, year some integer, integer variable year, put some year. Then uh, to check uh, whether it is century year, first check whether it is century year. For this, uh, check it this year modulo division 100 equals equals 0. Equals equals zero. This means this means this means this means whether it is century year. This means whether it is century year. Is it is it century year? Century year. Century year. Whether it is century year. Century year means uh, nine uh, nine nine hundred. Uh, uh, 800, 1800, 1900. This is if it is century year that is yes, century year yes. Then, then check uh, um, if it is yes, check uh, it is a remainder after division 400. So, year modulo division 400 is equal to equals to zero. Check it, check it for century year, century year. Check, uh, check whether it is uh, it is uh, it is uh, remainder it is any remainder uh, by division by four hundred. If remainder is zero, then remainder is zero. Then it is leap is yes remainder zero is this is the leap year leap year. And if uh, no, then it is not a leap year. A no, 
it is not a leap year it is not a leap no answer no uh, not a leap year not a leap year not a leap year and now here uh, 100 first uh, uh, divide the year by 100 uh, this uh, remainder is not zero remainder is not zero so it is not a century year so it is not a century year so it is not a century year so check it whether uh, it is divisible by 4 so year percentage mod sign percentage modulo division sign 4 equals equals 0 equals equals 0 this for ordinary year other than century year check it whether it is divisible by 4 or not if it is yes if it is yes answer is yes so uh, and it is no if it is no answer is no it is leap it is not a leap year if answer is yes it is the leap year so this is stop end stop end this is the flow chart so first year is an integer value integer, integer value and check it whether it is century or not to check whether it is century or not uh, first divide by 100 so um, uh, remainder is zero if zero then it is century year so for century year you must have to check the whether it is divisible by 400 400 then if it is divisible by 400 remainder is zero so it is a leap year for for non century year for non century year it is uh, whether it is divisible by 4 so it is divisible by 4 it is leap year it is not divisible by 4 so it is not leap year this is the flow chart of this program and today in this lecture and this is the homework uh, to form a uh, C program for uh, test a leap year and this uh, 